Greetings friends, it's Alexa again. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make all the time with Last Epoch is it's actually a very important thing and I didn't do this at first at all and it might ruin your build entirely or even the, your, your fun playing the game because you die all the time. And the key thing is, the biggest mistake I made for the longest time is if you have your build right and if you want to have fun with the game and you See? Because you know what I did with this build? And this was not intended to show you this way, but it also works. I did not go for resistances. The, the main thing most people do is I want to go for, like, this is a lightning build, so I go for lightning damage. I go for increased lightning damage percentage. I go for spell damage. I go for crits and crit multi. And then you sort of neglect this whole thing. This thing here. This is your health. This is what you need, right? Very, very powerful. And these need to be capped, right? 75% is the cap, and you see if it goes above it, it's even... It also helps, by the way, because if an enemy has, for example, let's say you have 75% poison resistance, and an enemy has a poison resistance shred, I mean, it reduces your poison resistance. But if you have it capped, then it will reduce the cap first, so you will stay at the 75. So you can look into overcapping them a little bit to like 100 or something, you don't need that the best thing is 75 but if you have a build that is going towards the end game you always always want to have your resistances capped right and it's just the first step then you have to look at the defense i don't want to go too deep into this how this all works because each class has its own sort of defensive mechanism right intelligence classes have ward a lot because for each point of intelligence you gain ward retention so you want to look into ward especially with the Acolyte and the Mage. Um, you also want to look into Endurance, right? Endurance Threshold. You can see, yeah, you can see that. Uh, endurance means when you go below that health level, uh, sorry, this is, if you go below that health level of 380, you take 43% less damage at that point. That's your Endurance. Okay, so you want to look into these. You can cap this at, I think, 70% or 60, I'm not sure. Oh, it's 60, there it says. So having Endurance kept is also nice because this is literally 60% less damage from all sources, alright, if you go below that health threshold. So Endurance is generally a very great way to keep you alive, outside of resistances, and because this basically just reduces physical damage by 75%, right? Very nice. And... But there's, for example, also um, less damage taken. General is a thing you can have with the Primalist as well as the Mage. So you have to look into this. There's also, as you can tell, there's Block Chance, there's Stun Avoidance, there's Armor, there's Dodge. Dodge, for example, is a Rogue thing. They also have Glancing Blows. There's a lot of defensive mechanisms in this game, and you have to utilize these. So when in doubt, especially late game, when you're in the Monoliths, focus on Resistances and Endurance, for example. Or we're just adding more damage to your build. Rather have less damage. If you survive longer, you can keep hitting longer. That's better than just having a burst initial damage. But you can never use it because it's just dead all the time. So keep your defenses up. Right? Very, very important. Much more important than actual damage. All right? Cap your resistances. Look into your additional defenses. And just getting straight health, right? Just more straight health is always also very great. So... This is one of the biggest mistakes I see people make, and you could see what, what happened to me there. I couldn't even cast my spells, right? My my Thunderstorm, this is the 4 build, by the way, I will make a video about this also soon. Too bad we don't have a hammer, but we can't, sadly. Uh, the game doesn't allow it for this. But anyway, I hope this helped. Keep your resistances up. I will also make a video on how to set your resistance up properly. All the defenses, there's a lot, it's going to be a long video, but definitely keep this going. And I will see you in the next video.